The movie is based on the first case of a serial killer in South Korea. The murders take place in a rural town, bringing attention to the entire country. A detective from Seoul volunteers to help investigate. His analytical methods anger his co-detectives, who are notorious for torturing suspects. During his investigation, he develops a friendly relationship with a schoolgirl. The detectives then find the suspect that best matches the profile of the serial killer. The detective is convinced that the suspect is the murderer. Schoolgirl is murdered and the detective, blind by rage, brings the suspect to a train track and nearly kills him, even when a DNA test proves the suspect's innocence. The detective initially is calm and analytical and follows natural law. He believes that substantial evidence is the only way to solve a case and only works in his boundaries. He volunteers for this case for the sake of justice. He wants to capture the serial killer to end the murders. He rebukes his co-workers for creating their own evidence as opposed to finding real evidence. He also does not torture his suspects like his co-workers do. Eventually, he is consumed emotionally by this case and his morals start to change. He starts to become utilitarian and continues to pursue the lead suspect, even when he is freed from custody. After the murder of the schoolgirl, he attempts to just kill the suspect to end the murders instead of finding more evidence in order to prevent more murder victims. Now, a question that can arise from this situation is, to what extent is the murder of a person justified in order to embed society?